Hello everyone, John Matrix here, and have I got another Hunt Showdown video for you guys here today. This is going to be the first one in a new series I'm going to do for some of my guides for Hunt Showdown. We're going to do some weapon spotlights here. We're going to talk about various weapons and go over their strengths and weaknesses. So today here on the first episode, we're going to talk about the Winfield. That's right, the Winfield. And have I got the greatest tip for the Winfield for you guys. This will guarantee skyrocket your KDA. You're just you're gonna be fighting people, and they're just gonna be like, what, who who is this? Who is this mysterious person? Is this Shroud? The Shroud playing? Did he bless my game? Is this Shroud? Who is this? So you guys ready? You guys ready for this? This the greatest tip you will ever get, ever. Okay, you guys, you guys ready for this? Don't use this gun ever. So there you have it, guys. There you have it. There is the uh, spotlight on the windfield. Thanks for coming out here. See you guys on the next video. Like, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go. Okay, all right, enough goofing around. I'll stop stalling and actually do the video and use the Winfield and hopefully by the end of this, not want to end my life. <laughs>
The second one being, you run into someone with a better rifle than you, you've already put a few shots into them, you're just looking to get that last hit to finish them off, when... <laughs> so after watching all this so far, you're probably thinking to yourself, well John, why the hell would I ever use the Winfield? Cavalry savored me. Got him. Let's see that in an instant replay. Cavalry Because the Winfield has virtually no kick or recoil at close range, it can be a headshot machine. And there's just something that is extra super satisfying about headshotting someone with the Winfield. It's not going to happen overnight, but if you can get good with it, the Winfield can be a headshot monster. On top of that, it's kind of a weapon of deception. How many times have you sat there fighting someone, you heard them shoot a Winfield, and you're thinking to yourself, <laughs> he's got a Winfield, this is going to be easy peasy kills, and then you get shot in the face. So if you decide to use the Winfield and you get good with it, that can be something that you could use to your advantage. Use that little psychological edge of everyone thinks I have a Winfield, so I'm going to be an easy kill, and then you just shoot someone in the face. And for me personally, in my play style, I tend to be good at uh, reactionary flick shots, and with the Winfield's low weapon sway and recoil, it fits my play style pretty well at close range. Generally speaking, though, the thing that the Winfield is probably the best at is support or suppressing fire. The Winfield Compact has seven rounds that you have to go through before you have to reload, with the full-size Winfield having 15 rounds before having to reload. On top of that, all of the Winfield variants currently use Compact Ammo, and because Compact Ammo has the most reserve ammo out of all the weapons, it's a weapon that you can just sit there and spam away with. So you've entered a compound, maybe it's the boss compound, maybe it's just a compound you're getting clue at, you guys know there's an enemy team here, they're hunkered down inside some of the buildings, just sit there and start spamming away at them. It is Compact Ammo. So it doesn't necessarily have the best penetration ability in the game, but through thin walls, it's able to penetrate through, and it can force people to move, allowing your teammates to uh, reposition, get uh, in a better spot where they can throw in a grenade or get a shot off, or you might get lucky and just headshot someone through a wall. Oh, oh nice! So now let's check out the variations of the Winfield. So the Winfield has numerous variations to it, second I believe only to the Mosin tree. And the Winfield variations are split between two different trees that you have to unlock. The first being the Winfield Compact, and then the second being the full size Winfield which you unlock at level 43 I believe. So firstly I'm going to go over the variations that I don't think are good and would recommend not really using as there's more of them than uh, variations that are good to use. As there's really only two Winfield variations that I would recommend using, however, there is one that does have an asterisk on it, and I'll get into that in just a minute. So, first in the don't use category is the Silence Winfield. Basically, take all the bad things about the Winfield and exaggerate them and make them worse. And that's pretty much the Winfield Silencer. It's really only good for PvE, just farming zombies. So, really, just don't use it. So, up next after the Winfield Silencer is the Winfield Talon. Some people might like using this, I personally don't like using it. The melee animation on the Winfield Talon is pretty slow. The reset animation after you melee something is pretty slow. It really doesn't do that great of a melee damage overall anyway. On top of it, the attachment obscures some of your vision from the iron sights, so I personally just don't like using the Winfield Talon. And lastly on the do not use list is the Winfield Aperture, which... The Aperture Sight is one of the harder sights in the game, and it's kind of not good. The Winfield Sight is a little bit better than the one that's on the um, Nitro, but still, it's not that great. It gives you a little bit of a zoom. It's uh, not quite as good as a Dead Eye Scope, I don't think, and it does completely darken out the rest of your uh, depth of field, but the tunneling kind of makes it a little bit hard to use. Basically, what the Aperture does is it takes kind of the niche effectiveness of the Winfield and kind of narrows it down even further to even more of a niche gun. Uh, you can't really use it close range because of the tunneling of the sight, but in certain situations at longer range it can be useful. Now this is the gun that has the asterisks on it because in the next update in 1.2 they're going to make the aperture sight toggleable. You're going to be able to flip the sight on or off. So this is going to be the first gun that has any kind of zoom that you can turn on or off. So, when you're fighting at range, 
flip the side up, be able to shoot people at range. And uh, when you're up close and you need to shoot something up close, drop the sight back down and you can use the normal Winfield iron sight. So, now that we've gone over the variations of the Winfield that I don't like and I don't really recommend using, let's talk about the variations of the Winfield that I do like and I would recommend using, starting with the Winfield Swift. The Winfield Swift is the last variant that you will unlock in the full-size Winfield tree, taking considerable amount of investment to unlock. However, if you do like the Winfield, it potentially could be worth it to you. It also has this handy-dandy nifty skin here that you can uh, buy as a DLC, which we all know the more skins you have in a game, the better registration you're going to get. Being that the Swift is a full-size Winfield variation, it has 15 rounds to it, the main benefit of it is that if you empty the gun, it has a fast reload time, essentially being a clip-fed weapon. And then lastly, and certainly not least, my personal favorite variation of the Winfield, the Marksman. Now, for the Winfield to have a Marksman sight with its low effective range and its low bullet speed is kind of strange. I would kind of more expect there to have a Deadeye variation, but I'm not complaining as the Marksman is my favorite scope. It has the cleanest sight in my opinion. And uh, with the Winfield Marksman, if you can get good with it, it's a headshot machine. However, the little uh, asterisk with the Winfield Marksman is that you really need to have two uh, traits in order to take maximum effect of the weapon, one being the Marksman Scopesmith and the other being the Steady Aim perk. The Marksman Scope perk, in my opinion, is pretty much a requirement to get maximum effect from the Winfield Marksman, as when you shoot without it, when you go to reload, it takes you out of the sight and it can be very disorienting. However, with the perk, you stay aimed down the sight at all times, and it also gives you an important ability of being able to adjust your shots while staying aimed down the sight. And then the Steady Aim perk removes any kind of scope sway from the rifle, making this the easiest variation of the Winfield to get headshots with, in my opinion. A couple of downsides to the Winfield Marksman is, of course, at close range, you need to hip fire or simply switch to a secondary weapon in order to deal with anybody that's close to you. And because it's a variation in the compact Winfield tree, it only has seven shots before you got to reload, so you can be reloading quite a bit of the time. So we talked about a few traits already that benefit the Marksman variant of the uh, Winfield specifically. The only other trait that benefits any of the Marksman variations is the Iron Repeater trait. What this trait allows you to do is to stay aimed down sight after shooting a shot with any Iron Sight variation of the Winfield. This also includes the Winfield Aperture. This is a very good perk to use with any of the Winfield Iron Sight variations, and it's kind of required, in my opinion, to use the Winfield to its maximum potential, as if you don't use this trait, when you go through the animation to rechamber a bullet inside the Winfield, your character will tilt the gun to the side and then do the reload animation and then reorient the weapon down to the sight. What this does is it adds a little bit of animation to the reload and it slows down the overall fire rate of the Winfield a little bit. And it can also disorient you by moving your iron sight off the target and you have to require your target after doing this. The Iron Repeater perk removes that, allowing you to stay aimed down the sight, keep your sight on the target, and slightly uh, reducing the reload animation. One thing of note, if you use any of the Iron Sight variations of the Winfield and you don't have the Iron Repeater perk, if someone's up close to you, it may be more beneficial to hip fire, as it doesn't use that animation that tilts the gun to the side when you shoot, so you can fire a little bit faster from hip fire. All right, so we've gone over all the variations of the Winfield in the game and uh, went over the ones that I personally enjoy using and recommend using versus the ones that I don't enjoy using and don't really recommend using and their reasons why. So let's talk about what sidearm or weapons pair well with the Winfield. Personally, I don't like any of the hand cannons in the game, so I would recommend not using any of the hand cannons, but if you do like using any of the hand cannons, then Whichever one of your preferences, you can use the Romero 77 hand cannon, the uh, Caldwell double barrel hand cannon, or the Spectre Compact. Uh, if you have Quartermaster, you can uh, you know equip one of those with the uh, any of the Winfield variations. But personally, I feel like the Winfield pairs best with either a pistol or a revolver. So when it comes down to any of the handguns, pistols, revolvers, whatever you want to call them, there's really only four in the game that are worth using two more if you have fanning. So the first one is the Dolch, which in my opinion, the Dolch is overall the best pistol. It's the best weapon in the game, honestly. But the question is, if you're using a Winfield, why, why are you using a Dolch? If you picked a Dolch up off someone's hands, you know, whatever, but 
if you purchase the Dolch, why would you use a Winfield with it? Like, the Dolch is just so much better. So, just don't use a Dolch with this. Then there's the Caldwell Conversion Uppercut, which, again, begs the question, if you're going to use this, why would you pair it with the Winfield? It's already better than the Winfield in basically every way, other than just rate of fire. So, again, this isn't something I'd pair it with unless you really want to. Then there's the Caldwell Pax, which I feel like the Pax pairs very well with the Winfield. Um, being that the Winfield Compact, you get a level 1. The only other pistol, sidearm, or whatever you want to call it, that is available to you at level 1 is the Nagant, and it's not a very good revolver at all. And you unlock the packs at level 10, so once you get that, it's worth switching up to the packs and using. Uh, especially with fanning, packs is packs might be the gun that benefits the most from the panning. It's very accurate with uh, fanning, and uh, does quite a lot of damage at 110 per shot. So uh, packs is definitely one that I would pair with this. Um, another oh pistol God. that's very good to pair with, because any any of the compact ones just about are, are really good to pair with it. But the Caldwell chain pistol, of course, if you have fanning. It's basically like having a submachine gun in this game. You just sit there and load. You got 28 shots before you got to run out. So the uh, Caldwell Chain Pistol works very well with it. And then uh, a sleeper pistol is uh, the Lamont. Uh, with fanning, the Lamont is actually, in my opinion, a pretty good pistol to go with it. It's got nine uh, compact rounds to shoot with. And then uh, you can always switch up to the shotgun side of things, which I've been one shot by the shotgun Lamont. Um, quite often and from decent range so if you headshot someone with it you can drop them so uh i know a lot of people don't necessarily really like the lamont but i think it's a sleeper weapon and with nine rounds with fanning you can put people down pretty quickly but overall uh the weapon that i would pair with any of the winfield variants more than any of them is the bornheim the bornheim is basically a mini dolch it's one of the best pistols in the game it's probably in my opinion in the top three um, the first Bornheim variation you get is a clip-fed one. It's only got five shots to it, but as soon as you go through it, you got a re you clip you reload with, so it's a very fast reload and get right back to it. The one that's probably worth using the most is the extended clip variation of the Bornheim. You get nine sh shots with that before you have to reload, although you only reload one bullet at a time. Um, and then uh, the only other one that I would recommend using is kind of with the Winfield Marksman would be the Bornheim with the stock. The Bornheim with the stock essentially turns the Bornheim into a rapid-fire windfield, increasing the muzzle velocity from like 360 or 370 up to the 400 to match it uh, with the windfield. And then it's also clip-fed like the regular one. So you got five shots, quick reload, and uh, it's very steady. So with the Marksman variation, I would go with that. But the rest of them, the rest of the variations of the windfield, just use whatever Bornheim you'd want to go with. In my opinion, that is the best matchup. They're both compact ammo weapons. Um, and the extra ammo that you have in reserve from the Winfield complements the Bornheim very well as it gives it that much extra ammo for you to spam at people. All right, so, and lastly here, just going to show you guys my overall build that I like to use uh, as far as Winfields go if I decide to use the Winfield. And it's the Winfield Marksman, tying it with the Bornheim with the stock. Um, don't really pay attention to the weapons or the items, and then just go through the traits. Uh, Iron Repeater already came with this character to start with, so uh, it's not really one that I would use, obviously, if I'm using the Marksman, but Quartermaster you need, so you can use the uh, stocked Bornheim, and then the Marksman Scopesmith and Steady Aim is for the Winfield Marksman, so you can get those extra benefits of the scope. Uh, I personally feel like this is the overall best uh, build and variation to use. It gives you uh, better range with the Marksman sight if you can get good with leading your bullets with it. Um, it's very good at hitting headshots, and then if someone comes up close, you have a very steady uh, pistol that you can use that's rapid fire, and the stock gives it that extra muzzle velocity, so it doesn't have to necessarily lead quite as much. So, uh, in my opinion, uh, this is the best overall build, and the one that I like to use when I'm going to use the Winfield. Alright, that's it. It's done. Yes, Mr. over now so yeah that's it it's over i'm done with the windfield i can go back to playing the game normally and not hating myself uh in truth i don't think the windfield is a bad gun it's certainly not a good gun compared to everything else in the game but it can be fun to use um so if you guys decide to take up the charge and use the windfield i hope this uh video helps you guys improve your game 
Uh, if you did like the video, if you'll do me a favor and hit that like uh, icon down there. And if you want to take that one step further, you can always hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the bell so uh, you know you get the notifications. All the stuff you guys have heard a million times from various YouTubers, and I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing it, but it does help the channel. So if you want to support me and help the channel, I would appreciate it. And if you would like to, you can follow me on Twitter at JohnMatrix69 and a stream over at Twitch at twitch.tv slash JohnMatrix69. So if you want to, follow me on all those things, check out what I'm doing, watch me stream, come hang out, etc., etc. And before I let you guys go, if you do one more thing for me, be kind to one another, and I'll see you guys on the next video. There's open the door. Hit. Oh, boy. He went in the water, man. Healing here. Hit. Fighting the fight. Yeah, I'm gonna probably hit me. Gonna drop down. Yeah, you should be able to get me. Oh! I'd go from underneath. Oh god. I think there's a pillar you can hide behind the res me. Dude, I swear to God, I'm hitting these fucking cunts in the head, dude. Holy shit, what? 